In this video, I teach you the practical vapor absorption refrigeration system. Now, first, I go to the vapor absorption refrigeration system. If you don't know the aqua ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration system, then first watch my video, and the link is provided on top right screen of your mobile where your eye symbol is there. From that, you watch this video. Okay, so here this figure is for the simple aqua ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration system. Okay, this system is not economically useful. Means we are adding the some component in the system, and this system is converted into the practical vapor absorption refrigeration system. Okay, so in this simple vapor absorption refrigeration system, we are adding the four component. The first component is the analyzer. Second component is the rectifier, and two heat exchangers. so we are adding this four component in this system and it is converted into the practical vapor absorption systems and it's increase the performance of the system okay so what is the function of analyzers what is the function of rectifier what is the function of these two heat exchangers that i explain you in detail on the video so we move towards the schematic diagrams of the practical vapor absorption refrigeration system if you learn something then like my video now this is the practical vapor absorption refrigeration system this is the diagram we are doing the some modifications we are adding the analyzer and rectifier after the generators we adding the one heat exchangers between the absorber and generators and we adding the one heat exchangers between the condenser and evaporators now i explain you in details what the function of these two heat exchanger what's function of generator and what's the function of rectifiers now in this system the ammonia is used as a refrigerant and absorber is used as a water okay so ammonia is circulated in this part of the system that is a condenser receiver this sides expansions and evaporators in this component absorber heat exchanger one and the analyzer and generators it is a mixer of the solution is circulated okay so it is known as the solution when we supply the mixer of ammonia and the water means refrigerant and absorbers so this left side portion is contain mixer of both and on the right side portion condensers receiver expansion device evaporator contain only the refrigerants and refrigerant is ammonia so in this condenser we supplied on the liquid vapor sorry vapor refrigerants the vapor refrigerant reject the heat in condenser then it is converted into the liquid ammonia then it is supplied in receivers and we putting this heat exchanger to here between the condenser and evaporators okay so there heat is exchange between the liquid refrigerants coming out from these receivers and the vapor refrigerants coming out from the evaporators okay this heat exchanger too is work as a sub cooler okay so what they are doing we are reducing the temperature of the refrigerant or liquid refrigerants coming out from the condenser or a receivers this temperature is reduced then the refrigerating effect in the evaporator is increased so heat exchanger 2 is work as a sub cooler okay so the refrigerant liquid refrigerant coming from receivers is reduce its temperatures and the vapor refrigerants going from the evaporator it's increase its temperatures then this vapor refrigerant is supplied into this absorber okay so it is a refrigerant in absorber we use the water so in the absorber water is available so water and ammonia is mix and it's create the strong solutions what is the meaning of strong solution strong solution means high percentage of ammonia refrigerants okay so in the strong solution percentage of refrigerant is higher in the weak solution percentage of the absorber is higher so this strong solution is supplied into the generators by using this pump in the pump pressure of the strong solution is increased up to the 10 bar then it is supplied in the heat exchangers okay then after it is going in generators in the generators we supply the heat energy so heat energy supply by using the electric heaters by using the solar energy by using the waste gas or waste steam coming out from the industries so any heat source that can be used in the generator for the heating purpose in this 
generators heating of the strong solution is takes place means ammonia and water are start to separate okay so mixer property is that they are easily solvables or easily separates at the high temperatures okay so water uh, boiling temperature is 100 degree centigrade ammonia boiling temperature is lower than water so ammonia is start to boil easily and it's convert into vapor first okay so ammonia is supplied into the analyzers with this ammonia some water vapor is also supplied into the analyzers okay so what the function of analyzer and rectifier that is not available in simple system so it is possibility that with the vapor ammonia some quantity of water is also supplied into this condenser and if water vapor is supplied into condensers then it is follow in the another component when this water particle is supplied in expansion valve then it is converted into the ice and it stock the flow of the refrigerants that's why avoiding this choking of the refrigerant flow in the expansion valve we provide these two component analyzers and rectifiers so analyzer contain different tray of the water so water vapor is separated into analyzers okay so water particle is coming back and again it is supplied in generators then rectifier is further put it for the same functions rectifier is also separate the water vapor particles that is not separate in analyzers and this water particle is again supplied into the generators now the again the in the generator there is a absorber is there that is a water is there and it is supplied back into the absorber but what the temperature of the weak solution in the generator is high so what we do we are putting the one heat exchanger here okay and what this heat exchanger is doing it's increase the temperature of strong solution supplied into generators okay so this weak solution is reject the heat and it is absorbed by the strong solution because its temperature is higher okay and this strong solution going from the absorber its temperature is the lower that's weak solution is give heat to this heat exchangers and sorry heat given to the strong solutions and this strong solution then supplied into generators okay so in the generators we supplying the high temperature strong solution then what happen the work then required in the generator is reduced okay so work supplied in the generator is reduced then cop of the system is increased okay and what happen in this heat exchanger too it is a sub cool refrigerant is that then it's increase the refrigerating effect means this heat exchanger is two is increase the refrigerating effect and heat exchanger one is reduce the work done so here our the working is completed and system is continuously run on the basic of this circulation of the refrigerants and ammonia now again i repeat what's the function of analyzer and rectifier analyzer is used to separate the water vapor particles that supplied into the condensers otherwise water particle is going on the condenser then it is water is choke in the expansion device and it's create the choking of the system rectifier is also doing the same function it's remove the water vapor particles and supply back to the generators heat exchanger 2 is working as a sub cooler it's increase the refrigerating effect heat exchanger 1 is work as a heat supply device into these generators so it reduce the work done in generator so both the heat exchanger 1 and 2 is increase the performance of the system thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe with your friend and share with your friend